Hello folks, how are you doing? Happy Monday! And this week I will try to make good on my promise for starting an Etsy store because it's been on my list forever and things keep popping up that frighten me so I keep postponing and procrastinating and doubting whether even I want to have a web shop. The truth is that I do want to have a web shop, I just am very good at second guessing myself. So you know, let's first have a web shop and then we'll decide whether it's a good idea or not because that's the smart thing to do. Anyway, my task for today is to take some pictures of the things that will be listed in my shop to begin with and these are the things that I printed for my art market and that didn't get sold, which is most of them. I'm not sure whether it will be better to use actual photography or mockups. I'm going to give photography a try and if I don't like how it looks I'm going to use mockups, but I feel like mockups are kind of dishonest. I don't know, do you feel that they are? If I end up with mockups they will be exactly the way the real thing looks. It's just that I don't have everything you need to take great pictures, but anyway we are going to try and take real pictures because I would rather have real pictures. Oh yeah, some updates. Actually I have a new working space. I got rid of my old desk because it was kind of too low and too narrow for me and I didn't like working on it very much and for quite a while I wanted a bigger table, one of those that go up and down and I finally got one. I didn't bother too much before because I had table like that at my office but since I've been working a lot at my part-time job I've decided to give up the office because I barely spend any time there anymore and it doesn't make sense to pay the rent if I never use it and whenever I think of it it makes me a bit sad because this whole thing with the part-time job feels like a huge step back and maybe it is because I haven't done any client work in a while, but then again I haven't searched for that and I don't have that much time for it because I've been wanting to focus on my own stuff and figure out what I want to do because I don't even know that. And yeah, anyway, no office for the time being, it's just the home office, so I thought let's make it a little more comfortable and it's quite a mess still because I'm figuring things out, but let me show you. So this is my new table, it has more space on top of it and it has this thing right here that you can uh, pull out and you can make the table go up and down like this. Most people have the one where you press a button and then the table goes up and down, but the difference in price is quite big for me and the results are the same and I'm not doing this very often, so I thought that it's not really worth it to splurge on something I'm not going to be using that much. And whoops, cables are nicely tucked down there because I hate messing with cables. I don't like having them on the floor so IKEA provides us with this beautiful device to organize your cables. Ain't that neat? And then the problem is that this table doesn't have any drawers and my old desk had that and it was great. But a person from my office was super nice and gave me this thing. I'm now organizing my drawing stuff in these little drawers and I keep my pencils and things in this little basket so they can easily go in and out like this and I haven't finished all of them. There's also a spot for my little plant there which is great because I've been missing plants in this part of the room. Yeah, again there's my table. These are my studio lights because it tends to get quite dark in here and I'm also going to use them for my photography in a bit. These are my really bad headphones that barely work anymore and I should just get new ones but I don't like spending money so there you go. And another 
present, some neighbor who was moving out of their apartment offered this bookcase for free in our Facebook group. And I just uh, snatched it because, you know, you can always use a bookcase. I already have one down there, but I don't have one nearby my table. And it's nice to have uh, some of my sketchbooks in here. I'm still organizing this. It's still not pretty. And some uh, plant over there. And that's uh, my working space from this side and from this side. So that was a bit of an improvised working space tour for you. I'm going to clean up the table and start figuring things out. I haven't done anything with my camera in ages. Uh, if you don't know, I'm filming this on my phone because it's the only thing I have that takes video. My camera is really, really old from 2008 and doesn't have any video functionality. But back in those days, I was actually into photography because I didn't think my drawing is good enough to be an artist or illustrator, what I wanted to be. So I thought I'll be a photographer instead. But then I realized that photography is great and I love it, but I actually just want to draw. So we're back to this now. <laughs> It's been like 20 minutes of photographing and I don't think I like what is happening. <laughs> Maybe the screen of my camera is too bad and just doesn't show the pictures well enough, which definitely is true. Maybe I don't know how to use it anymore, which definitely is true. Maybe the light is not good, which is also true, but I think before I spend more time on photographing more stuff that might end up not working out at all, I'm going to actually upload what I have right now to the computer and see it on the computer. Maybe edit a picture or two and see if it's worth it at all. If yes, I'll continue. If not, I think I'll see what I can do with mock-ups because I just don't have a lot of time and don't want to spend all day photographing and then not using those pictures at all. So that's that. <laughs> So after some editing, I'm thinking that the results are not absolutely horrible. Um, they could be much better, but I guess what I'm trying to say is that for the time being, I'm going to go on and shoot all the prints that I have and edit them and probably use those photos because I have a bit of a bias towards real pictures that I took versus mock-ups for some reason, although mock-ups will probably look better and cleaner and will save me time, but I guess I have to learn everything the hard way. <sighs> but anyway, for now I'm going to continue with the pictures and maybe we'll use that, we'll see. Whoa, what's going on with my hair? It's like Einstein. <laughs> what was it? 
Sí. And finally done taking all the pictures. I hope I can use them because this took forever and it was really, really, really boring. So if they're not good, I'm not going to reshoot them. I'm just going to use mock-ups. And now I'm thinking of actually going out and moving a bit, maybe taking a walk or what would be even better, going and skating for a bit. I'm still really scared of being on my skates and skating outside. If I don't do it more often, I'm never going to get confident. So I should probably do that. But first I have to clean up here because it's a huge mess. Ugh. <laughs> Hope I don't have to do this anytime soon. Really boring. All right, see you later. Check it out, there's a bunch of wild rabbits running over there. There they are. Run bunnies. <laughs> Whoa. So we've reached a place where we have two choices. And I have planned to go this way. But the sun is too much in my eyes. On the other hand, that's what is really nice. And I don't know how this one is. I also don't want to be alone in the forest. So maybe I'll go to the edge of the forest and come back. Yeah, let's go this way. End of the road. I have to turn back. It's pretty nice here. Bunch of cowsies over there. And now I'll have the sun in my eyes again. And we have reached the end of this road. And I can't see you because I'm in skates. But look, some kind of tower over there. And some really loud geese over here. I would really like to go further and see what's there because I haven't been so far out here before. But unfortunately, I'm in skates, so I can't do that. And also, that's not at all the point of this video, but John, it's nice to share with you this uh, nice sprite. Let's head back. Morning everyone! It's Tuesday now and I'm pretty tired. I went to bed really late, didn't get enough sleep. Also, I have to go to work in two hours, so not much time this morning. I think what I'm going to do is now I'm going to draw my portrait for the 100 portraits I'm doing on Instagram. I don't know if I mentioned that. Uh, it's what I'm doing for the 100 project. 100 day project? What is it called? Anyway, I thought I polish my portrait skills a little bit, so I'm, I'm, I'm doing portraits. And this week I'm doing scientists, because why not? Science is fun. And if you want to, you can follow my 100 portraits over on Instagram at forindead. And after we do that, I will continue with the editing of photos. So, Oh, you know, not much is going to happen today. So I imagine we're going to hang out more tomorrow. All right, see you later.
again everyone it's thursday no it's not it's wednesday and i continue <laughs> with the editing of photos because there's so many of them and it's so boring so i have to take a lot of breaks if i'm to stay sane i also have to make my illustration for instagram for today and after that i'm going to ikea yeah guilty pleasures i really don't need to go i don't need anything although i'll probably get some kind of uh, boxes for organization or something to help with all my pencils and things to clean up my new working space a little bit because it's quite a mess still. What I should do is stay home and work but it's been decided so that's where I'm going in the afternoon and now oh shit almost one I have about an hour and a half or maybe two hours to do some work before I have to leave so let's get to it. pictures are done illustration for instagram not quite but i have to live for ikea now so <laughs> folks it's thursday now and i realized that i probably won't be able to progress much further on the etsy stuff because of work so i think i'm going to end this vlog here because it's probably already long enough and i hope that we can continue and finish next week because my deadline for opening this store is the end of may so let's see if we can do that i know that it's probably something that most people do in an afternoon but in my head i need to prepare a lot of things for it to happen and even then i probably won't feel sure and ready to actually open it but sometimes you have to just go with it and that's what i am attempting to do and that's why i'm filming it because i hope that it's going to force me to actually be quicker and actually get it done so thanks for being with me and helping me do this and yeah let me know how long did it take you to open an etsy store if you have one and if you don't do you plan on ever having one or do you use etsy at all and i hope to see you next week until then have fun <laughs>